And there is Strider going for his 12th win of the season. Yeah, I mentioned the last start against the White Sox. He still had the 10 strikeouts. He did allow the five earned runs and six innings of work there. Didn't walk anybody. I want to see a more consistent Spencer today. The first two innings in that outing was absolutely dominant, had five strikeouts, then kind of lost it a little bit. So I want to see a little bit more consistency from Spencer today. Payoff pitch, grounded at first. Matt Olson, one away. One down for Cattell Marte. There it is. First strike out of the day for Strider, number 177 on the season. Just dots that inside corner down. Spencer Strider doing Spencer Strider things. He strikes out Marte looking. He strikes out Carroll swinging. One, two, three, top of the first. Diamondback starter today, the right-hander Zach Gallen. A loss at Toronto this weekend in his first outing since his All-Star game start. And now going head-to-head -head against Spencer Strider, both pitchers among those who were tied for the Major League lead in win. And Ronald Acuna Jr. gets first look. Ronald Acuna high in the air, right center field, but it's playable for McCarthy. Up here's another one, the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. Hits this in the air to left center field. So a couple of high, lazy flies. One to McCarthy, now one to Thomas. Nice high hop for Rivera's at third. Zach Gallen, no big deal. A quick one, two, three first inning. Head to head with Spencer Strider. Marte, Carroll, and Walker, two, three, four here. First pitch of the fourth. Hit it squarely, and it goes off Ronald's glove. And Marte is going to get three out of this. And just like that, Arizona with a runner 90 feet away from home plate with nobody out. No, Cunha had a shot at it, but it went right off the glove. And Marte's at third to lead off the fourth. Swinging through the 2-2 fastball. Seven Ks for Strider. Two times getting Carroll so far. Got him. Eight strikeouts and two big strikeouts here with Marte standing down at third base. Trying to strike out the side again and leave the runner stranded. Got him. Wow. Folks, he is just flat out electric. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Went upstairs up high and tight and he went after it. Jake McCarthy struck out looking his first time. Got him. Diamondbacks are dropping like flies right now. Just absolutely filthy. 0-2 here. Wow. Not sure what else to say. He struck out the side again. For out number two. Ozuna, center field, Thomas, Alec has got it. Alec Thomas hauls it in, and Zach Gallen is perfect through five. Two down for Marte, who has struck out and tripled. He went. 13 strikeouts for Spencer Strider through six. Eddie Rosario, who struck out to lead off the third, is up first in the Braves' sixth. Zach Gallen, five strikeouts, 16 up and 16 down for Zach. Got to get something going here. Orlando Arcia steps in. Down the left field line. Arcia later, and the perfect game is no more. And the Braves lead. What a way to end the perfect game. Orlando had a home run in game one of this series, lined out in his first at bat, puts the Braves on the board in the second. Yeah, that thing was hammered. There's no question about that. But now they've got something cooking. First and second, no outs. The DH is the rookie, Dominic Canzone. Dominic Canzone, fly ball right field. Acuna will turn and watch this one go. Dominic Canzone and the answer backs answer right back again. The rookie with his first major league home run. And again, what a moment for it. Dominic Canzone makes it 3-1 Diamondbacks. Home run number one. Wow. And there's still nobody out in his seventh. Rivera homered here Tuesday. Rivera sends one the other way. That one's gone. They go back to back. Emmanuel Rivera. And it's 4-1 Diamondbacks. Looking for the sweep in Atlanta. Back-to-back -back home runs will end the day for Spencer Strider.
in Atlanta. It's 4-1 D-backs. And to this point, the Braves have scratched across one tally versus the Diamondback A's. Right field pretty well struck. Back goes McCarthy off the wall. And it comes all the way back toward the infield where the second baseman Marte gets it. And Riley has a triple. Look at those wheels for the Mississippi kid. So a leadoff triple. Here's Matt Olson. Swinging 3-0, lifting it to left center field. The ball is still carrying, and it's gone! 4-3, to three, 31 on the year for Matt Olson. Thought he might have hit it a little bit too high, but he hit it hard enough. Big boy, big boy power. Brings the Braves within one. Corbin walked against Strider to lead off the seventh, stole second, and came home on the Dominic Can's own three-run homer. Corbin Carroll, fly ball, right field, and watch it go! Corbin Carroll and the Diamondbacks lead it 5-3 to three as they look for that three-game sweep in Atlanta. That's their third home run today, their third in two innings, and the 19th of the year for Corbin Carroll as Miguel Castro comes out to start the bottom of the eighth inning. Two on, two out, Riley the batter here in a two-run game at the bottom of the eighth inning. Line! A series indeed, and he did not miss, as you said, indeed. 432 feet, smoked it out of here. And that will lift Castro from the game. And now Kyle Nelson comes in here to face Matt Olson. Two-run homer for Matt Olson last inning. High and deep to right. Get out of here. Back to back. Matt Olson to the chop house, seven to five. I think that ball scraped the clouds. Got up underneath it, hit it down that right field line. It doesn't matter how far it goes, Brandon, as long as it goes out. Homers in back-to-back -back innings for Matt Olson. They provide a save opportunity for Rysel Iglesias. Yeah, Rysel looking for save number 17. We saw him on Tuesday, a rough outing through a third of an inning, allowed three runs to earn in that one. And the pesky Arizona Diamondbacks will not go quietly here in game three of the series. And here comes Gurriel. Out to center field. Harris waits. Harris takes. Arizona down to their final out. Gonna finish this thing off, Brandon. That'll do it. Olsen taps the bag, Braves win. A couple of homers, the big blow from Austin Riley in the eighth inning, and the Braves are able to salvage the series before heading to Milwaukee.